All right, folks, this is Lewis with a Nerd Report. Let me get this off my chest, all right? It's a little different than the stuff you're used to seeing here on Nerd Report, but it is pop culture uh, related. So hopefully you all bear with me and let me know what you think in the comments below. But Mike Tyson is not going to beat Jake Paul. This is stupid. It's a money grab. Uh, I hate this. This always happens. It's not exclusive to this uh, show, but... People that don't know about boxing. All right, number one, Mike Tyson uh, was in his prime in the eight, late 80s, okay? He's still a force. He was still a force during the 90s, mid-90s. Lost to everybody, though, the top-notch fighters in the 90s. Then in 2005, lost to this awful fighter named uh, McBee, McBee or something, McBride, okay? You guys remember this fight? Tyson in 2005, folks, almost 20 years ago, lost to a guy that Jake Paul is probably better than, okay? That's in 2005. Mike Tyson's been an inactive fighter for a very long time. Now, okay, you're talking about now, you're probably saying, well, he fought uh, Roy Jones, well, look, in my opinion, Roy Jones was overrated, but let's pretend Roy Jones was awesome in the 90s, right? Roy Jones is at a stage of his career since the early 2000s, since Antonio Tarver destroyed him, um, that you could crack an egg on his chin and it will knock the hell out of him. Watch, Google this stuff. Google Roy Jones before the Mike Tyson fight. You could tap him on the chin if the wind blows is hard enough he would go down, and Mike Tyson did not knock him out, okay? Did Mike Tyson look physically awesome? Yeah. Is he better than me? Yeah. Is he better than everyone watching? Probably, okay? That's not the point. Thing is, Jake Paul is an active fighter, uh, and Mike Tyson's an inactive, way out of his prime. I'm not even going to say old, but he's old. <laughs> I should say he's old. He's got back problems too, man. He doesn't fight, and those videos you're seeing of him training are like less than 10 seconds each, and they're edited. Is the dude even training? I've seen Mike. This is Mike's career, man. He he announces a fight. It's all awesome hype. I'm going to knock you. I'm going to eat your children. The fight comes. Hopefully it comes because I don't know, man. They may get canceled at the rate. Most Mike Tyson fights get canceled, so I wouldn't doubt it's canceled. It, but I'm telling you right now, if these two really fight, Jake Paul will unfortunately win. Why unfortunately? Because look, man, boxing is, in my opinion, the greatest sport ever. I mean, come on, just two dudes uh, duking it out. The footwork's amazing. The the reflex that are needed are just incredible with these as athletes. But there's a lot of really good fighters out there that are, do not get attention because everyone's looking at the Paul brothers or nonsense like that gimmicks like that. There's a lot of fighters out of a lot of countries that are just hard gifted fighters that we're not, we're being robbed uh, of seeing as fans because they don't bring in the money. I don't give a crap how much money these people make, but we're just, if you want to look, I don't know what the rules are of this fight. If the rules are regular boxing fight, three minute rounds and and the and it's more than six rounds six rounds Tyson's gonna get knocked out man he is he's just not an active fighter all right I mean that's just the way it is um and stuff my prediction though they're gonna make it so no one gets knocked out no one looks real bad that's my prediction for the fight if it happens. Again, stop hyping this shit up, man. All right, what do you guys think? I know there's going to be a lot of people disagreeing with me in the comments. But again, I love Mike Tyson. Prime Mike Tyson would eat this guy. They would, would destroy this guy. This Mike Tyson, people, people age, man. He's not active. He has a lower back problem with sciatica. Uh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Don't shoot the messenger. Nerd out.